Good morning. Uh, I left the project yesterday. Uh, I was a little late in the day. I didn't want to start cutting the other side. I just went home. So, as you can see, though, I raised, I raised the bit. There's the bit. I raised the bit out of the way, so I can turn turn my deck, and that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to flip it over the 180 degrees. I mean, that's not hard to do. Your your machine should be gauged. Oh, I can speed that up though. Alright, flip that puppy over. I've got my deck marked. Oh, what passed it. Alright, my little mark. Do -do 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 -do. Slow. Right there, and if you want to double check, you just could take a gauge, and you can, uh, pretty simple, make sure your gauge is on, zero, I like working in millimeters, and just, uh, run the gauge down. And run it down on the other side. And make sure you're on. Okay? Okay, now that I got the uh, the deck, the, the rotary deck, turned 180 degrees, and I've mic'd it and it's true to the true to the table, right? Um, but we still have the problem, this bit is way out of the way, so going by the numbers, I had raised it 30 30.164 millimeters, so I just got to lower it that again, right? My uh, program shows Z at 10 and my relatives at 0, so that's exactly where I was on the other side of the wax, on the other side of the rotary deck. So now I have that, that impression cut off from there. Now remember, I, in our cam I flipped, I flipped the design, so now I want to do the reverse design, which is side 2. So I'm going to load side 2 into my art to part. And I'm going to get that thing going, and we'll go from there. Well, we've got the other side loaded. That's side two axe. And uh, I'm going to uh, fire this puppy up. Okay. Oh, one sec. I have a little bit of a... Right, everybody's got a little setup, right? I mean, I like a little bit of water on my wax. Right? Stops it from binding. And we're going to run this. Okay, a nice drip going there. That should run for the next, uh, that should run for the next, uh, oh, 40 minutes or so, and then we'll have our two-sided machining, and when it's done, I'll take it out and I'll show it to you. And we'll go from there again. All right. Thank you. Well, she just cruised along. It's maybe about a half an hour later. 
and uh, You see the little tabs that we made at the beginning, those little tabs? That's what's holding the axe in place. And I will, I will uh, cut the, uh, cut the wax out. Oh, here's a little piece I worked on just the other day. Can you see it? Corvette Roadster. There's a little Corvette in there. Neat little piece. That, that's going to go on the top of a ring. Top of a ring. And there's the sides, there's uh, 2007 C6, those will be done in yellow gold, and the ring will be done in white gold. The two tones can be quite nice. Anyway, that's another project, but this is the one here. Alright, I'm going to trim it out, and uh, I'll show you the wax, I'm going to cast it, and I'll show it to you finished, with the bail on. Alright, and uh, by the way, care and maintenance of the machine... After I have that water on it, I just I spray the chuck cut a little bit, the little uh, end stock a little bit. Doesn't need a whole lot. Just make sure the machine's dry afterwards, and it'll give you years of better service. Right? Right? There we go. Okay, it's cut out of its uh, little piece now. Chop, chop, chop. Very nice. I'm going to spur it up and uh, cast it. I don't know if I'll show you finish, but at least you've seen more or less start to finish from that. You can see my other videos for the casting and polishing and cleaning and everything. It's pretty well straightforward, the same thing. All right. Thanks for watching.